the runway driver problem for us in San Antonio uh, kind of officially started back in 2011 when Officer Stephanie Brown was killed in a wrongway crash. Um, she was SAPD officer. She was not responding to a wrongway call. She was uh, killed by a wrongway driver on another call. Um, at that point, got a lot of media attention and people started asking Textod and the city, what were we gonna do? So at that time, we started a task force and have been working on countermeasures to try and prevent wrongway drivers from getting on the highway ever since. One of the biggest challenges that agencies face is where are events happening? How many of these events are occurring? There's just a lot of questions. And so what we do is we try to take agencies from where they are today, which is looking at very sparse data points of accident reports, phone calls from the general public that are complaining about wrongway events and helping them actually quantify and get hard numbers as to where, which geographies are the greatest problems and how many events are actually occurring at those locations. How can we affect human behaviors as in regards to wrongway driver? That's a tough one because in, in the 10 or 11 years that we've been researching the wrongway driver problem here in San Antonio, um, we have found out that a lot of the wrongway drivers, at least that we see in San Antonio, are intoxicated. Some are two to three times the legal limit. When you get people that are that intoxicated, it's very hard to try and influence their behavior. However, what we have done is we have developed a set of countermeasures, flashing wrongway signs, detection with cameras, radars, uh, other methods where we can detect the wrongway drivers coming onto the highway uh, so that we know where they're getting on so that we can start coordinating with SAPD and Bear County Sheriff uh, to try and stop them. So our approach to the wrong way driver problem is different than most. We look more holistically at wrong way driving events, not necessarily focusing on how you react to them, but how you look at where they begin, how they propagate along the length of a ramp, and then ultimately how those drivers end up on the mainline highway driving head on into other vehicles. In our goal to get law enforcement engaged as quickly as possible, we've developed a service called Alert Trust. Because we're capturing video of these wrong way driving events, we're able to capture which conditions are leading to uh, that event and how that driver behavior is contributing to the ultimate resolution or continuation of that event onto the highway. This system has the snapshot and the video, which is which is very helpful because the snapshot you can take very quickly and we can get to that, we can get that pretty fast. The video, as you can imagine, you gotta take the video, it's gotta download, it's gotta be transferred, emailed. That all takes 30 seconds to a minute. That doesn't sound like a lot of time, but when you're talking about a wrong way driver going the wrong way on a road, if they're going 60 miles an hour, they're just a mile further down the road. One of the most interesting things that we've observed, and I haven't seen captured in any wrong way research that I've read thus far, is that of all of the mistakes that drivers make that result in a wrong way driving event, 90% of them are because of a left-hand turn. They mistook what they were trying to do at that intersection and made an errant left-hand turn. Our goal is to resolve wrong way driving events as quickly as possible. And when we're looking at how they begin and that 90% of them are all beginning in the same manner, it gives us a very specific point to focus on to try to resolve those events. One of the other things that we can do as traffic engineers is that we can design entrance and exit ramps and access to our highways so that it is physically difficult for a car to turn and go the wrong way on the highway. Uh, that's one of the Probably the easiest ways that we can do it, if we can limit the access where we make it almost physically impossible for you to go the wrong way, we've eliminated the wrong way problem before it occurs. Our Alert Trust system is a monitoring center staffed by trained operators that evaluate every alert that comes in and confirms whether or not there is a true wrong way vehicle in that event. And if it is confirmed, then it's forwarded on to the agency and or uh, the authorities as necessary. Since 2011 when we started tracking this we have now stopped 89 wrong way drivers with this coordination between us and, and SAPD on the floor. When you understand the behaviors that are leading to wrong way driving events it's far easier to achieve results.